Hey everybody, thanks for joining uh, me on this uh, uh, live chat today my, of my uh, quarantine vlog, I like to call it. Uh, so, you know, we're still under a um, uh, uh, stay-at-home order, obviously, but uh, the cool thing is things seem to be uh, reopening, and one of the things that um, uh, is still in the works this year is Old Spanish Days Fiesta out there in Santa Barbara, my hometown. Uh, which I just love. Uh, so we have today a special guest. We have uh, uh, Eric Davis, the uh, El Presidente of All Spanish Days. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I, I do welcome your comments and questions. Just keep it civil. Uh, but go ahead and you can post uh, uh, on the comment section below. And, um, uh, you know, we might feature some of those comments and questions um, on, on today's uh, live discussion. So, uh, I do invite everybody to kind of join in the conversation. Uh, if you just listen, uh, that's okay too. Uh, but um, uh, let's get started actually. Uh, and just, we're gonna talk about Fiesta plans and, and what's happening uh, with it this year, obviously because of the pandemic, things have to be different, but how different? Well, we'll talk about that. Uh, so let me bring in um, Eric here. Uh, hi, Eric, can you hear me? Yes, Oscar, how are you, my Perfect. friend? I am yeah. great. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Thank you for doing this. And uh, you, know, you know that my wife, Claire, and I, we both love you and your wife. We appreciate the hard work that you did and have been doing for Fiesta all these years. And we're so excited that, that you're finally El Presidente. That's a, a great, great <laughs> title to have. Yeah, thanks. No, you guys have been incredible supporters. We have a ton of support in this community. And for those out there, it's the... Uh, it's a tradition in Santa Barbara, unlike any other. Ninety-six yeah. years uh, bringing the community together in celebration and song and dance, uh, reliving our traditions, honoring our heritage, um, and just bringing forward the fiesta spirit. It's 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 super special. Um, and um, this year it was scheduled or is scheduled to take place August five through nine. So we're working through this plan pandemic, putting plans on top of plans, in hopes of bringing joy and and that fiesta spirit to the community, however that looks. It's obviously going to look quite a bit different uh, yeah. with uh, large crowds not being possible and things like that. But uh, it's it, we are going to make the best of it, and uh, the community outreach in the last few days has just been, um, it's almost brought me to tears a few times. So Yeah, yeah. It, it, and it, it definitely brought tears to, to some folks that I know very close to me. Uh, my wife, <laughs> she, she's the biggest, uh, fiesta, uh, lover out there. Now she's been doing it since she was yeah. a kid and, you know, she, she was asleep wow, when you did, yeah, she, she was asleep when you were, um, uh, when you held the, uh, uh, the unveiling of the fiesta pin, fiesta poster and the announcements too. Of course, you did an interview with my friend, John Palminteri over at yeah. KYT and, um, and, and, and you know, we, we for a while, we just didn't know where it was going to go, whether it was going to be canceled this year and maybe roll to the next year uh, or if it was going to go on uh, and what the planning for that would look like. And so I, you know, I told her afterwards as she woke up, I said, hey, you know, this is what's happening. And yeah, she just started crying um, because it's it's heartbreaking for a lot of people that have been doing this for for a long time. And, and I mean, it, it is um, the best way I can describe it, I think, to some folks that have never experienced Fiesta is like the, the whole town parties for a week <laughs> in celebration of the, the, the roots that, that make Santa Barbara so great. Um, but maybe let's talk a little bit about the planning, because uh, this could not have been an easy decision to go on with this. What, what was that like, that, that planning process, and, and why not just roll it over to the next year? Um, there's, there's a few things. One, uh, Old Spanish Days Fiesta has been canceled in the past. It started in 1924 and in 1925 was the great earthquake. Mm -hmm. Um, they didn't have a full program at that time. Uh, but obviously with State Street and rubble, they, they couldn't have the parade. Uh, it continued on. And then in the war years of 1941, 1942, uh, 43 and 44, it was also canceled. Um, and then later, um, in 1948, uh, it was canceled again, this time due to transition and mostly drought conditions. So it's happened. It's been 72 years, but uh, it's happened. So we looked at it. Um, but canceling Fiesta in this day and age, uh, in, in my heart, from the very beginning, was not much of an option. Uh, this is not 1948 anymore. Um, 
you know, we have the technology tools to do this interview, to, um, you know, broadcast and take our message to the world. And it's really too important to this community. I mean, this pandemic's different. I think people are going to need a bit of hope and joy and optimism and that fiesta spirit more than ever, uh, just more than ever. So from the day one, it just it's just been on my heart uh, to bring that forward. Um, not only us, you know, the town's going through some hard times, too, with, you know, the businesses closed and the restaurants, and they've been our partners. And if there's any way, you know, we've had incredible support from the city of Santa Barbara, the county of Santa Barbara. And, you know, the economic impacts of, of Fiesta are just extraordinary, um, not only for the city and the hotels and the restaurants, but the dancers, the musicians, people who've worked all their lives to, to participate in it. So at, at this day and age, I just felt it was too important um, uh, to do that. So the, I think the hardest part is planning in a pandemic. What can you do? We don't know. You know, we, we have made some plans and then we've also had some plans change the very next day. So, um, you know, we've got some fresh ideas. The most important thing for us has always been the health and safety of our community. That's going to be number one. We've been in touch with uh, the county supervisors this entire time, the health department, city officials um, on so many fronts, and they've been just so extraordinary. Um, so we're going to do what we can. Like I said, um, you know, we did unveiled the poster and pin on live television, um, which was incredible. Uh, John Palmetary has been an incredible supporter. KYT has been an incredible supporter. So we are out there on this most beautiful patio. Um, and instead, you know, we normally unveil it at a, like a private dinner to 200, 250 people. Mm -hmm. But this time we were able to unveil it to tens of thousands of people. And I got to say, the orders in the last 24 hours have been just off the charts. We, we've broken records. So, you know, there's ways that, that we can do this even better. I think some of the things are going to stick. Uh, obviously, the beauty is being together, you know, being able mm -hmm. to dance and, and enjoy each other's company. Um, and we don't know what that's going to look like, but um, there's things we can do in a safe and, and uh, yeah, I don't want to use virtual way because there's going to be experiential components to it and other things um, that we can do to keep the spirit of Fiesta alive and bring hope and joy to this community. Yeah, exactly. And, and that actually brings me up to a, a question uh, that was just asked on Facebook by Sarah Villalobos. Uh, and it, it regards the theme, really. It, she's asking... Uh, how can people experience the dances of Fiesta, you know, based on the theme of, uh, I, th I believe it's Vamos a Bailar, the theme? Vamos a Bailar, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah and, let, let me touch on that. The, the, um, that was the last event we were able to, to hold. It was uh, late February, and we announced the, um, po the, the theme uh, for this year, Vamos a Bailar, translated Let's Dance at the historic El Paseo restaurant. So it was really a, a fun night. Um, and for me... Um, dance represents a lot about fiesta. You know, it's the emotion, it's the passion, it's the colors, it's the dresses and, and, the, and the dances. It also represents our history. You know, a lot of uh, the, the events, the dancing that takes place honors our history. So for me, the heart of this has always been uh, dance. Uh, obviously music and, and, and other things go into it. But, you know, I just, for me, um, that was uh, really important to bring forward the spirit of dance um, as it's uh, just close to my heart. And so that's the theme on it. And uh, as you see at the poster and pin, that also represents uh, that kind of dancing um, spirit uh, that we can hold and in ways we're gonna do it. So we've got events planned um, that are gonna bring dancing into the home um, through song and music and dance. You know, we've got, like I said, television partners. We're working on uh, virtual broadcasts. Um, you know, television viewing viewership's up way high now with everybody at home. So we're going to bring that. We're going to bring that to people. And we also have the digital assets. If we can't be together in person, uh, we're going to we're going to bring it to them over television and, and dance at home if, if things don't break right. Yeah, exactly. Have Have you partnered up with uh, anybody, any business in town to? uh get you the tech tech that you need to bring about these uh virtual events well you know my day job is an executive director of tv santa barbara so yep. you know um my background is in digital media television broadcast so it's almost uh, i just almost feel like it, this moment is was you know i was the right person for this moment um it's hard. It's hard. Been hard. I'll be honest. It's been been really difficult. Um, 
but you know, this is, this is, yeah, we, we have incredible partners. Um, KYT again, um, you know, what they were able to do the other night and what we've got plans for, um, Fiesta Pequena, you know, bringing that show uh, to the people. So yeah, we have the infrastructure to do it. You know, um, our, our Facebook post when we on the announcement reached 20,000 people, which uh, is pretty big. And um, so, yeah, we have the infrastructure, we have the partners, we have the, the tools to do it. And the outpouring of support from local businesses, uh, the downtown organization has been just tremendous parks and rec. Um, really, really, really amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so let's talk a little bit about the planning for Fiesta Pequeña, because that's, that's uh, the one event that kicks off Fiesta uh, for, I mean, it's, it's, it's been, it's been like that ever since I can remember the, the biggest little show in town, if you will. But, um, yeah. this time because of obviously what's going on with the pandemic, you can't have large gatherings. And, and this is one of those events where it, it, you know, you kind of feel the electricity of the crowd because the crowd gets yeah. to be that big. So what are, what are the planning uh, or what does that planning look like for Fiesta Pequeña this year? Well, and it changes every day, right? Yeah. I mean, that's the thing yeah. in this pandemic. I mean, planning on a pandemic is really impossible. I mean, we, we looked at options to hold um, hold it at the mission mm -hmm. uh, without crowds. But, you know, how do you block that off? And even if you do, people are going to come flooding to the barrier, barriers because yeah. it's so special. Yeah. You know, and, and like I said, health and safety is going to be our number one priority, uh, working with uh, – Working with county and city officials, so we're going to we have a remote we have a live broadcast scheduled that uh, incorporates, if possible, live dancing at secure venues around town, historic clips, um, live narrative with uh, you know, Beth, the CJ, myself, and Father Larry, uh, kind of taking us through the journey. And the other thing that this provides us the opportunity to do is bring forward some of our history, you know, some of the historical clips that that we have. Uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be it's going to look different, but it's it's still going to be fun. And I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be one of the larger watched uh, shows in, 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 you know, in Santa Barbara history, I hope. So um, we're, we're dealing it with that way. Um, like I said, health and safety first, looking for creative ways. We're going to be nimble. We're going to be innovative. Um, and uh, but again, it, it changes. So. Yeah. Um, and um, um have some of these other events that are, have been have been well known throughout Fiesta changed as well, or have they been? Um, are they also going through a, a, an innovation type of of, of um, uh, planning, such as, for example, the uh, the Dignitarios event at the zoo? Um, you know those types of events. Uh, what's what's the I guess what's the future of those this year? Yeah, um, I could. I could touch on a few of those. And the theme that the, what we're using the term is reimagined. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, re, you have to reimagine for 2020. Let me give you an example. Um, so, you know, you, you go to the Mercados, right? And there's uh, bands that play and, and it's uh, food vendors. Um, so, what we're going to do with a reimagined uh, Mercado is we're going to have um, Fiesta uh, music and dance parties. So, Fridays in uh, July, we're working with uh, an incredible team of uh, Mike Lazaro um, at the Alcazar Theater in Carpinteria, the Carriage Museum. Um, there's been a, a team assembled to bring forward some incredible acts, some bands that we can uh, televise and stream into homes, uh, interspiced with uh, dancing and maybe rest restaurant recommendations so we can give back to those restaurants that have been affected. Uh, so we're going to continue with the dance. We're going to continue with the bands. Uh, we're, we're looking at some of the, the usual names that you hear in addition to some really big names in terms of uh, giving back. So we're going to bring a dance and music into the homes uh, for now. And that's just one idea of adapting the Mercado style uh, thing to avoid uh, crowds. Uh, Diggs is, is a partnership with the, do, with the zoo, and that's still being uh, reimagined right now. Uh, other ones, you know, we have the, the Flower Girl program, and if there's ways that we can bring uh, flowers to this community, bring a little bit of joy to this community, uh, you know, even if it's uh, shipping or, or pickup, uh, we're, we're going to do that too. So, um, and then there's some really cool things that have come forward. Um, yeah, like uh, just this week alone, um, Gary Simpson at the Home Improvement Center uh, has been working with us 
Uh, they're going to order colored lights, um, wow, okay. red, yellow, green. We're going to sell all the bunting, um, you know, the flags and the bunting uh, mm -hmm. through the home, home Improvement Center. Just an incredible partnership that they reached out. Um, and we're going to light this town up in, in red and yellow. And we're going to put um, flags everywhere, working with the downtown organization. Um, so, you know, bringing that spirit uh, alive, it's just it's going to be special. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about little things like that if, if you know, we remain in this uh, kind of lockdown mode. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and just, you know, I was just reading this. Um, well, and my camera just turned off, but hey, that's the, uh, the, the adventure of having a live live show. But just a quick turn on here. Uh, or the turn on the camera. Uh, but uh, yeah, one of the things that was um, actually just, just came out this just a few days ago was that this company named Moderna, who's working on a vaccine for COVID-19, has actually gotten success now. And so now their their vaccine is, is uh, still needs to go through some phases, but it's looking real promising. And they, they're, they're saying that they might have the vaccine roll out to the public by the end of the year. But obviously, you know, uh, Fiesta takes place in August, but but it seems like like things are looking up uh, somewhat. And and right now they're still I mean, Santa Barbara County and Ventura County have been two of the counties in, in the Southern California area uh, that that have gotten approval from the state to, uh, you know, for a speedy reopening. And we're seeing some signs of that, too. I was just looking at pictures from a friend of mine who who uh, um, uh, the picture showed a dining table set up on actual on the actual State Street for people to come in and enjoy uh, a dine in experience outside. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's that seemed really cool. Um, so who knows where we're going to be by the time Fiesta rolls around. But but uh, you're just you're keeping my, your mind open to all the changes that are going day by day. Is, is that kind of how, how you're planning things, just going day by day? Uh, yeah, and, and, and week by week, and sometimes hour by hour. Um, yeah. Um, you know, we, constant communication with uh, Supervisor Greg Hart and County Health. Um, you know, the, the the vaccine thing is not as optimistic, um, you know, as this year, but we're going to things we can do now, like the unveiling of the poster and pen. And I'd love to talk to you a little bit about the process there. Yes. Um, was something that brought incredible joy to people. I was just floored by the, the comments that, that have come rolling in. It's just been, it just warmed my heart. And like I mentioned, the online sales through the Fiesta site yesterday broke records. Um, people were going to buy the poster and the pen at record rates. And it just, it just blew me away. So I, I, I think there's this, I don't clamoring for a little bit of, little bit of hope, you know, a little bit of color, a little bit of dance, a little bit of joy. Um, yeah. And, you know, and for me, that's embodied in the poster. Yeah. And we're looking at the poster right now. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, when I first saw it, I just, my jaw dropped. It is a gorgeous poster. I, I want a poster so I can frame it and put it up somewhere in the house here that I can take a look at every day because it does bring a wonderful cheer. I mean, I love the colors. I, I love the that, that you see the mission in the back. Um, and on the left side, it looks like you you can see the beach. So maybe talk a little bit about the, the, the poster and how you came up with this concept. Sure. Um, last May, um, Angelique and I, um, mm -hmm. Angelique's my, my wife, um, um, who's been part of the Fiesta process with me and has just been so incredible uh even through this two months which has been really hard she's been my rock um and um we were able to go to sevilla last year during their feria it is it's like fiesta but it's a it's 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 big um it's huge it's it's a week long and the whole town shuts down and they dress it's football fields wide the gathering and horses it's we we're so fortunate to be able to see it um it was just it was just uh, Words can't describe how special that was. So, you know, we went to get some clothes and, you know, shawls and just get the experience and get some ideas. And as we kind of walked through town and enjoyed it, uh, we saw some of the tile work and the posters. Some of the, you know, they have a, a poster every year there too that represents it. Um, and so we looked at that. We probably brought 10, 15, 20 concepts back home. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, one of the things I've always liked, and 
is are the vintage old posters. Some of the ones mm -hmm. from, you, you know, the, the early years, the, uh, yeah. the kind of almost larger than life kind of um, poster art um, that, I, that I really like. And um, so last year, um, there was an artist named Andrew Leonard who did my um, I Modernary Square for TV Santa Barbara. Uh, and he just knocked it out of the park. Um, absolutely knocked it out of the park. He brought kind of really a local flavor to it. And shortly thereafter, I asked him if he would be interested in, um, in you know, doing the poster this year. And he just jumped for joy. He was so honored. And then he dove into it. He started going to the, the Historical Museum and the Glen Hill Library, doing research on old posters. Um, he came away with a, a concept that uh, in that back scene, um, comes from like an old 1940s travel program, tourism program. Um, and then for me, the mission's always been super special. Uh, you know, it's, it's, well, I wanted to, to incorporate the mission in, into that. Uh, the beach is, is my happy place. So there's that component too. Um, and it took a little while. I mean, you know, being a creative, I, I enjoyed the process tremendously. Um, mm -hmm. And so we, we, we started working on it. Uh, we had a few lunches at Paradise Cafe, uh, went through concepts. I, I don't know how many hundreds he, he did. And it's all digital. It's the coolest thing, um, the way he was able to modify it. And then we came down to four or five uh, selections and modified it and then continued to work up until probably, yeah, right before the, the pandemic hit. And then um, we finalized that. And, the, you know, the pin has kind of a similar flavor, a little bit different. Um, but it's just something that uh, really resonated with uh, Angelique and I, and and Andrew did an incredible job with it. So it's something I'm, I'm really proud of, and I, I hope everybody continues to kind of go out and, and buy it at sbfiesta.org backslash shop. Um, you can find it right off our site. But yeah, to me, it's it's a combination of, of uh, Sevilla to Santa Barbara and dance and the theme of Vamos a Bailar while uh, kind of um, having that iconic uh, Santa Barbara feel to it. So mm -hmm. that's the story. <laughs> well, and then uh, as we're looking at the poster, we're going to transition into the pin too here. So now we're seeing the pin and, and this one has also a, a unique design that I haven't seen. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen it or if he has. It's been years and years, but it does seem very unique to me, especially with the the, um, the openings on the in between the, uh, the lettering here that we're seeing. But it's such a beautiful pin, and the pin's usually best on the poster too. But but can you talk a little bit about the design of the pin and and what that concept was like? Yes, you know, um, dancing couples have been part of uh, Fiesta posters and pins in the past. You know, there, there's that iconic one that's been used uh, dozens of times, uh, just changing the color of the dress and stuff. Um, but yeah, the pin just was kind of the very similar thing. Um, we nailed it down to a couple um, uh, dance poses that we really like, um, and it played to it. And then again, this is on Andrew. He, he went and did all kinds of research of past pins. Uh, you know, we spent hours at the at the li historical library uh, doing research of what worked and, and pulled this together. I think it's just beautiful, and, and it plays on the roses. I, I love the color, you know, the red and, and black of Fiesta, the big sash, the uh, shawls, the flower in the hair. And of course, the mission with the flags and um, uh, Lisa Burns, who's the, uh, the wife of a former past president, uh, Scott Burns, uh, found this um, this photo from the like, 40s or 50s where they hung these. They actually hung these old flags like that on the mission um, at, at sun, sundown, and it's just a such an incredible photo. And so we incorporated that into into the. Um, poster and pin as well. Wow. It's amazing. I, I, th that's one of the things I love about the posters and the, the pins. There's there's always some some historical references to it. And um, I, I you just did a, such a fantastic job with these two. Uh, I mean, I can, I, I'm just I'm, I'm in love with the design this year. I just I love it. I get all giddy over it. <laughs> yeah, good. And that just sets the tone, right? That's that's what we're trying to do. And we yeah. can do it digitally. And we can do it better. Like I said, instead of watching it to, to 250 people in a room, we took it to tens of thousands of people on live TV. You know, and so 
exactly. there's ways that we can do it. Exactly. And, and yeah, there's, there's, uh, you know, I'm seeing, uh, the comments of folks come in on Facebook. So by the way, thank you for everybody that's commenting and, and putting out questions. So uh, I, I am seeing some about, uh, you know, certain, um, certain events, uh, like dancing and stuff like that. And, and, uh, like you just touched on, you know, many of these events will probably be televised or put on a virtual, uh, uh platform somehow. Um, and, and that's a great thing. You know, I, I, I think maybe just even five years ago, uh, we probably couldn't do anything like what we're doing now. So the technology has, uh, uh, just gotten us so far and, and, um, I, I have, I don't think I'll probably ever experience a fiesta that has used so much technology <laughs> as, as this year. And, and, uh, you know, I think you're the perfect person to do it. You know, do you believe in fate? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's crossed my mind a couple of times. Um, yeah, it's 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 hard to swallow, but uh, you, you think of that. Yeah, yeah, it because yeah, you you with with your background in television, you know, I just I just couldn't imagine somebody else uh, put in the role that you're in right now for this time that we're going through. Um, it's uh, uh, like I said earlier today, it's it's heartbreaking the, the hands that, that we've been dealt with. But you're doing really awesome with <laughs> what you've been, uh, you know, ex experiencing. And a great, that's a great testament to you and, and the rest of the team that that is helping put this this event together. Um, now, are, are the dates still um, happening the, uh, the, the way they've always been or uh, for this year or yeah. have those dates changed? somehow no we looked right. at we looked at we looked at postponing it you know we looked at every single option there there was um but we don't know what the fall is going to look like either right yeah. and, and if yes it's such a unique event that um we decided to stick with it and um and it's you know we have a dedicated uh board of directors that are just been through this and um but it's also this community is just i i can't tell you uh, just this week the downtown organization reached out to us uh, and said, we're going to fly Fiesta flags along State Street for not just one, but two, maybe three weeks. Because, wow. you know, we, yeah. Uh, and um, it's just the, the moments like that, that, you know, that this community is going to really rally around it. I, I've thought from the outset, and it's just in my on my heart, um, that this community is going to need a, a little bit of, bit of Fiesta. And, you know, we, we've been locked down for two months. It's still two and a half months away. So, you know, we're going to continue to put plans on plans, you know, and, and, and hopefully, you know, we can get to some of the, the live dancing and, and being together. But um, we're going to we're going to do it uh, big and we're going to do it uh, great, uh, regardless of how that looks. And, you know, take it, take this fiesta to the world. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, that's and, and that's the, the beautiful thing about the technology that, that is being used right now. Yeah, you have the ability to have everybody see it without necessarily going there. You know, one of the uh, uh, big crowds that come out to Fiesta every year come out from the L.A. area, which is where I am now. Yep. And, um, and this year, of course, uh, we don't anticipate that happening. But, um, you know, you always get you always have such a fan base out here in in L.A. that uh, it's great to know that they're going to be able to enjoy, um, you know, some of these uh, uh, events that are happening. Um, but the Mercados, of course, they're not going to be out and about, uh, as, as you mentioned. Uh, but, um, uh, yeah, with modifications, I, you know, it's not the same, but I love yeah. uh, I love a quote that you, you actually said on your KUIT interview with John Palminteri, which was, you know, Fiesta lives in our hearts. You know, it's not yeah. something you can cancel. Uh, and that really resonated because it, it's true. You know, it's it's. Uh, um, uh, you, yeah, you get it uh, for all the times that I've been to Fiesta and experienced it growing up in Santa Barbara, born and raised. It's, uh, uh, it, it was always a visual thing with it, but, uh, you know, after my wife and I, uh, moved for our, our jobs, uh, we still kept that spirit alive inside of us. So it's, uh, it's, um, such a beautiful quote <laughs> that I that I, I, I got from you. Uh, but before we wrap this up, I just want to give you the last word to give out a message to everybody, the dancers, the 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 the, the folks that are are um, uh, the residents that are just going to be 
um, out there uh, watching some of the staff from home to all the to all the people that are that would otherwise be coming out of from out of town and and to the rest of the world. Just a, 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 I want to end on a positive note here. Yeah, but first, my heart goes out to everybody that's been affected this by this. This um, it's hit our town hard, you know. It's hit hit, hit uh, festivals uh, and music and, and dance really, 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 really hard. But um, we're going to do all we can to bring uh, the joy and spirit of fiesta to this community, however that looks. Um, like I said, we're we're positioned well with our, our partners, our digital assets. Um, the backing of this community, the, the people um, that make up the fabric uh, of Santa Barbara are just special. Um, and so we are going to do what we can to bring a little hope, bring joy, bring optimism um, and love uh, to everyone um, through Fiesta. And we'll continue to work tirelessly. There are going to be mistakes. Things are going to change. Things are going to look different uh, today than they will uh, next week. So we're going to be creative. We're going to be adaptive. Um, and I just ask that you stick with us, uh, trust us, and you know that uh, Fiesta does live in the heart. Even talking with you today, my, my heart is full, just um, just thinking about it. So, yeah, watch us on our, our Facebook page. Uh, SBFiesta.org is the website. We're going to have more details. We're going to unveil things. We've got some special things planned um, that we just can't promise right now. Um, we're going to continue to work through it. Um, but... Um, Go get, go get the poster and the pin at sbfiesta.org backslash shop. And then keep an eye out. Um, the next big thing we're going to announce and roll out is the Friday music, uh, music and dance series, which is going to be pretty incredible. Uh, and we're going to be working on that um, next week, too. We have some ideas for an incredible parade, um, a reimagined parade. So um, that we'll be coming forward with that. And then, then you'll hear, he'll hear more details about um, ways you can participate and ways you can contribute to this um, reimagined Fiesta 2020. I love it. <laughs> Thank you for that uh, message. Thank you for taking time to come on, on today and 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 um, you know putting a lot of people's minds at ease. I think uh, uh, for those that missed the interview with John Palminteri, uh, this was a, a great way for them to kind of uh, get updated on, on what's happening with Fiesta and what a better spokesperson than than uh, El Presidente. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Oscar. Oh, uh, Eric, so stick around for a little bit after this. Uh, I'm just gonna wrap this up, uh, but I know that, that my wife uh, wants to say hi, and uh, you have both of our support. Whatever you need, whatever we can do, let us know. I really appreciate you yeah, coming well, on here. Yeah, we love you guys. Just be safe and we'll be in touch. Okay, sounds good. Thanks, Eric. And for everybody that tuned in to uh, this, Facebook uh, Live, and for everybody that's watching uh, the replay, um, I, I do appreciate your support uh, in, in all of this, and um, uh, I, I really am glad that you guys tuned in and, and asked questions and, and commented, um, and, and I do appreciate that support. So you can uh, hopefully continue doing that as uh, things ease up uh, in, in, in our Central and Southern California coasts. Um, but uh, like I said, we, we today was about Fiesta. We didn't talk about COVID-19, nor do I really want to talk about all the latest updates on that because information changes every day. I don't want to give out the wrong information or outdated information. So usually what I like to do is um, recommend everybody go to either cdc.gov or who.int for the latest information on COVID-19, and there's tons of great resources there. Uh, there are free, of course, and you can benefit from that. Um, and also, if you want to follow me on social media, you can do so. My other social media channels, you can see my Instagram handle there, and my Twitter handle as well. As well, my my uh, Twitter, uh, I usually put uh, a lot. Of, it's more newsy, <laughs> so I put a lot more news posts out there and retweets and stuff like that. Twitter. Uh, that, that's that's what I use it for. But on Instagram, it's a little bit more um, more playful in, in a way. So I, I experiment with it a little bit more. So you'll see different things there on my Instagram. So follow me there. And um, again, I do appreciate uh, your support on that. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day today. So go out, have a walk. Some of the beaches are now open uh, for you to uh, 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 lay down and, and, and be with family um, with social distancing rules in effect still, of course. Uh, but um yeah, get some get some fresh air. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And uh, yeah, see you in August. Viva la fiesta.